Hi, my name is Caitlin. I'm the author of a blog called grassfedgirl.com and I'm a holistic nutrition consultant and I've been healing my Hashimoto's for 10 years. My goal on my channel is to teach you everything I've learned on my journey. Today's video is about flanken ribs, one of my favorite foods. They can also be called Korean short ribs. I got these at Sam's Club. They were $9.28 a pound. They've gone up. Seems like they used to be more like $7.99, but I guess we're having some kind of inflation or something going on now. So now they're $9.28, which sometimes that's over the price of what a New York strip or a ribeye could be on sale. And so I will definitely get ribeye or New York strip if these are more than that. But because this is a lot of fat, so a lot of it cooks away. So you're not really getting to keep all of it, but regardless, they're really good. They're a change of pace. If you're bored with your carnivore routine, these can really help you. Now we're gonna make them three ways. So uh, we're gonna make them in the oven, which I think preserves some of the meat and the fat. And so it's not all cooked away. We're gonna grill them. And then I will also try a marinated version. So stay tuned to the end to see all three ways. If you find this video helpful, please share it with a friend. Subscribe, leave a comment, hit that like button. It really helps out. I'm first gonna do parchment paper. So you can get parchment paper at any, any grocery store. And I just put it on here. So this is my sheet pan and I'm covering it with parchment paper. That will keep me from doing a lot of dishes at the end. This container is about five pounds, so I'm gonna evenly split them up and cook them three different ways. Put them on the sheet pan and then put some salt. That's all you have to do. Now make sure and turn on your oven to 350 and put salt on both sides. So these are ready to go and also it helps to use room temperature. They'll be a little more tasty if you make them room temperature first. So let them sit out for about an hour before and salt both sides and you're going to put them in the oven. So I'm going to cook them about 15 minutes and then we'll check These on them. These have been cooking about 15 minutes. So they need to probably flip and I'll probably cook them about five or 10 more minutes. All right, so now we're going to flip them. And the more you do this, then you can just render, the more they cook, the, they render down, but they really don't overcook because they have so much fat that it kind of protects them from overcooking. Okay, so that was 15 minutes on each side at 375 on my convection oven. And they're pretty cooked down. So I'd say I could eat them like this. If you wanted to, you could broil them for a few minutes, but I think I could eat them like this. Pretty tasty. The other side now. And most of that white fat is rendered down. So, looks pretty good. Here's the taste test on the ones from the oven. Mmm. They're delicious. They're a little softer than the grilled ones. Um, not as chewy. So if you want them to be more tender, try this one, uh, this method. Then next we'll try the other ones, but these are yum yum. These you probably eat with a knife and fork. Mm. Now I'm gonna take some out to the grill. Probably just do five and five. Hopefully I don't eat all those, but same thing, put some salt on both sides. Just use a good sea salt. We're out here at the grill. I'm excited. We're going to cook our flanky ribs now. The grill is over 500 degrees. So these get really fatty and they make a lot of smoke. And so don't be freaked out. Whip our ribs now. I think it's really hot. Wow, yummy. So that was about five minutes, and I'm gonna do probably two more minutes, and then they'll be done. The trick is not to overcook them because they will evaporate into nothing. So make sure that you 
don't overdo it. So I did about five minutes and then about two or three minutes on the other side. See, they really catch on fire there. <laughs> These two are a little more done. This one and this one. Okay, so I just got my flank and ribs ready off the grill. These are the grilled ones. Mmm. <laughs> Those are perfect. Not overdone. Like I said on the grill, be careful because they can just grill into nothing. So you don't want to overdo it. So I did about five minutes on one side and about three minutes, two to three minutes on the other side. So these are perfect. Remember, just salt. So yummy, so good. So I'm going to make a marinade for my flank and ribs. Here. And then I was gonna put a little bit of hot sauce. This is a hot sauce my husband likes, but you can use any hot sauce. And then fish sauce, a little bit of vinegar, and then garlic powder. So I put about two tablespoons of fish sauce. I'm gonna put two tablespoons of vinegar. The, the harissa, about a tablespoon. And then some garlic powder, about probably a tablespoon of garlic powder. And then just mix that up. See, it's mostly mixed up now. You could add a little bit of sweetener if you wanted some stevia. That would make it a little bit sweeter. But most people don't because stevia is not a carnivore. But if you want it to be more like authentic, have a little sweet. Most Asian food, they use a little sugar. Um, okay, so now you're just going to pour it on. And I would let that sit overnight. So I would just kind of make sure it's mixed up with your hand and then let it sit in the fridge for as long as you have time, maybe at least an hour more overnight if you have time. Okay, so now they're in the fridge, ready to marinate. Okay, now I took them out of the marinade, pat them off. Here's the leftover marinade. So make sure you get that off or else it's gonna make them chewy and steamy. So just pat them down and then they're ready to go in your air fryer. Or you can put them in your broiler. They're ready to go in the broiler also. Okay, now we're gonna try our third method, which is broiling. So I've got my oven here on broil and I am going to put these in for about five minutes on each side. You see the, the broiler on the top is getting hot. So you're going to broil these for about five minutes on each side. Okay, probably not a good idea to use the paper, so I'll get rid of that. But you see they cook for five minutes on the first side, and then I'm going to flip them but I'm also going to throw away the paper. I discarded the paper and then I'm going to flip them and cook them on the other side for five more minutes. Okay now they're all cooked. Don't they look delicious? So crispy and tasty. Here goes the taste test. I'm so excited. This is my moment of zen. From looking at these you'd think they'd be really chewy but they just melt in your mouth they're so delicious you have to make these at home they're so easy and tasty thanks so much for watching my flank and ribs video i hope you enjoy these try them next time you can find them at sam's costco um, a lot of ethnic markets will have them they are really delicious and a great way to spice up your carnivore diet make sure to get my carnivore ebook it is 182 pages all about beginning the carnivore diet and how to get started dealing with family and friends. The 42 most common FAQs. Also, it has 26 recipes, two meal plans, and it also has a shopping list. Please subscribe, share with a friend, like this video, give it a thumbs up. I really appreciate you watching. See you next time. Bye-bye.